Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Dem and Development and welcome to part two of our RSS Reader application tutorial. In part one, we set up all the configurations to be able to display um, our blog post within a table view application. Now we've got to the point now we're able to click on stuff and be able to read what it's simply posted, but now we're going to be able to um, push our posts here into our UI uh, view controller where it will be displayed in a web view. So what we're going to do first then is set up um, a set of classes for our web view uh, and our new UI view controller. So we go to um, file new, uh, objective C class and make sure it's set as a UI view controller. And I'll simply name this now simply uh, view controller. You can keep it as it is, that's not a problem. Add that into our application now. Now simply place that under our table view controller classes. And then what we need to do is in the view controller dot um, h, we just need to select it, and just here now we need to do space bracket enter, enter a few times so you can see what I'm typing out. We need to do ib outlet uh, space ui activity indicator as we're going to be adding one of those in. So let me find that now activity indicator view. Uh, there we go space uh, asterisk and I simply name it act ind. Really short, easy to understand. And then we need to add in an NS timer for our activity indicator to animate so we know that something's happening on the screen. And that raise semicolon. And then just underneath um, our bracket here, we need to do at property space uh, bracket here, copy space, uh, um, um, blah, blah, comma, sorry, uh, non atomic, and that uh, bracket there, space. And a string space um, asterisk URL and there a semicolon. So we need a string of our URL so we can read um, what the link is of what blog post we clicked on so it knows what one to load up in the web view. And obviously now we need a web view so we do at property again space uh, bracket uh, strong comma space non atomic space oh um, bracket space IB outlet space UI web view space asterisk um, name this simply web view nice and easy to understand again and that array semicolon now once we've done that we can simply save that and I'm going to go into the main dot storyboard now and I'm simply going to throw in our UI uh, view controller here we're going to right click or control click and drag this cell over to our um, uh, UI view controller now and when they select segue we're going to select push by doing that we'll create a little um, link here and we've got an identifier which we need to create um, add our own one in but we won't do that just yet but now we are able to if I go to build and run Uh, when we select the table view or one of these views now it pushes to our view our view controller and we can go back we can go on each one but it won't display anything just yet as we configured it to do anything at the moment okay so before we get further into that now we need to go to our um, table view dot m and at the bottom where we got this sections here where we've um, finished up our stuff we need to create one the, um, one more void statement to prepare for segue uh, this will push the details into our UI view controller so to do that we do dash bracket void and then we bracket and then we go prepare for segue and that space bracket I press enter as you can see and then we need to if statement so if and then we do bracket bracket uh, segue space identifier so if the identifier bracket uh, is equal to string at symbol quotation mark quotation mark is equal to string uh, simply show detail there we go uh, and that have a bracket there uh, and then we can go straight to our statements here so if it's equal to show detail string uh, the ns uh, index path if I can find it in index path, there we go. Uh, space asterisk, uh, simply name it index path, as that's what it's going to be. Uh, space um, equals space bracket self dot 
um, table view, that's what it's going to be linked to, um, space index path for selected row, for selected row, and then a bracket and a semicolon. And then we need to do ns string space asterisk, uh, simply name it string space equals space bracket feeds. So to equal our feeds, and we need to create a, another bracket for our index path uh, dot row, and that a bracket space object uh, for key. There we go. And in the um, highlight section, here we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark link. Uh, oops, sorry, not capital. So if it's equal to our show details, it's going to get our index path and what one we selected. It's going to get the link, and it's obviously going to push it towards. Um, the UR or in our string of our URL, which we're going to set now. So we need to do bracket, bracket, segue, space, destination, uh, view controller, uh, in every bracket, space, set URL. Highlighted section here will be string, in every bracket, and a semicolon. So our NS string here is going to equal the URL. Um, oh, we got a problem here. Oh, then, then, what am I missing here? Oh, what seems to be a problem here? Oh, okay. We we'll just come back to that in a second. Then, so first we need to import our view controller. So once we imported that and obviously made it aware, go back down to here where you got set URL. Uh, you can do a lowercase one once you've imported um, our view controller, as it's on the previous one. It's an NS string. So make sure it's a lowercase um, of our URL, and then link that up to string. Let me just simply build that. That should get rid of the error. There we go. Okay, now once we've done that, we need to double click on our show detail here as it's um, our segue identifier. So when we go into our main dot storyboard, we need to paste that in our identifier here of our linked up um, segue here. So push. So that obviously knows it's going to be correct one. And then in the view controller dot M, we're going to finish up adding the code now to be able us to display our posts on um, our web our web view. So first things first is in the view did load section. Space out so you can clearly see what I'm typing. We need to do ns url space asterisk. Uh, I simply name this url uh, space equals space um, bracket ns url space url with a uh, string. And in the highlighter section here we need to do bracket self uh, URL of our string um, space string uh, by trimming characters. Let me find that one. Trimming characters here. Uh, in the highlighter section here, we need to do bracket ns character set. And then we do space, so white uh, space new line character set. And then a bracket, bracket, and a bracket. Uh, finish that up with a semicolon. So what I says basically doing, and if there's um, spaces within the uh, uh, URL or kind of the um, link or something like that within the URL, it's going to basically trim and take them out, so it all comes up together. Uh, and then we do again ns URL request. Not the whole reload, so I just want NSURL request space asterisk, uh, simply name it request uh, space equals space uh, URL. Um, oh, you need to put a bracket, sorry, so URL request again. NSURL request, there we go. I'll get it right in the end. Uh, request uh, with URL. Um, that's why I was getting it mixed up last time. So that would be our capital URL, and that a bracket and a semicolon. Now we need to um, bracket self dot web view uh, space load request, and it's going to be load up the request, which is our NS URL, which is linked up to our URL, uh, and so on and so on. And there a bracket and a semicolon. Now we need to add in our activity indicator to ind indicate activity. So again, we need to do bracket self uh, web view dot web view. Um, 
space add subview and that's going to be equal to our act ind not activity indicator and now we need to create our timer so timer space equals space bracket ns timer space scheduled timer with interval we want the bottom one it's got the re, um, select down and repeats on and user info first our little section we do um, two brackets uh, we do the speed of it now this is all preset from our previous um, activity indicator tutorial uh, in the target we do self in the selector we do at selector highlighter section here we simply do loading and uh, this will be the void statement we'll be creating uh, user info nil repeats e capital yes and then a bracket in a semicolon now okay then so let me just close that up now just here we'll do the void statement now for our loading so we do dash bracket uh, void bracket and uh, this is simply going to be called loading as it's linked up to our selector up here uh, and then we do space at sim uh, bracket and enter right now what we do is if uh, exclamation mark self dot web view uh, dot loading so if it's loading uh, ooh, act ind uh, space stop animating and then we're bracket in a semicolon uh, ooh, else bracket Act IND space start. Oh, there we go. That's the problem there. It wasn't coming up. Just get rid of that bracket there. So start animating and there a bracket and a semicolon. And then finish up that. Oh, it's got two brackets there. We need to get to that. Again, okay, so we need to do loading there. So if the web view is loading, stop animating. So else start animating. That's simply brace, uh, the basic there of our activity indicator tutorial. Okay, so jump back into our view controller dot, uh, oh, um, main dot storyboard. We're going to add in now a toolbar for um, the um, buttons at the bottom. Let me just find the toolbar. It's near the bottom. There's navigation toolbar. There we go. And I'll throw in some items now. Uh, I'm just going to space them out. So two on either side. So just like we did in the simulator, uh, this is going to be our back button. Custom. So it'll be like our rewind. Uh, our forward. There we go. This will be our stop. So there's stop. And obviously we're going to have our final refresh. And then we need to find a web view. And then we place that in. There we go. Uh, right then. So our web view is in. Uh, what's missing now is our activity indicator. There we go. We need to make that a large one. And I change the color to, to blue so you can simply see it. Okay, so in the uh, section here, the file zone, or the view controller here or up here, simply go to there, select this tab at the top, and I'm going to simply write in here, view controller. So that links up the classes to this uh, um, interface, and then we can drag the actions and outlets. So there's act IND is our activity indicator, our view controller. And in return, now we can, oh, there we go. So control, click, and uh, drag the view, um, view there. Oh, my God. Other way around, sorry. Getting it mixed up, I can't really. Yeah, there we go. So that'll be our go back button. Uh, go forward. Uh, this will be our stop button. It's a little bit tricky to do, like linking these up as they're on the tab bar. And obviously, I finally our refresh. Oh no, that's our reload, sorry. This one is linked up to reload, take that off. That's our stop, there we go. Okay, then once we've done that then, we can, uh, let me just quickly add in the um, constraints. So I can add missing constraints. Simply build that, should be no errors. So now if we go to build and run on the simulator, 
we should be able to test it all out and see it working. Okay, so once it loads up then, we can simply click on one of the posts from our blog and that will should load off now into our uh, web view. Uh, you can see it's zoomed in quite big, so if we quickly go back onto here, change it to scales to fit page, let's rebuild that one. So then we just loads up now, so we click on, say for instance, the temperature calculator post, it loads up our temperature calculator blog post, which we posted within the um, uh, our RSS feed. Now our activity indicator hasn't disappeared, Oh, that's because I haven't done hides and uh, stop. So a few things I missed out there. Make sure you make sure you recap and add those in. So again, third time's a charm. Uh, it animates, spins around, and disappeared once the page is loaded up. So that's simply how you add um, or create RSS reader applications. Now it's very simple to add into current apps at the moment. Um, so I hope it just helps any of your projects or apps that you're going on or developing at the moment. So again, uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook or Twitter so you can keep us um, uh, up to date with what's going on with us here at Geeky Lemon. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comment section. We'd be happy to help out. Uh, it was a pretty long tutorial and there's a lot to take in, but it's very simple and easy to understand. So I hope you guys can use this to your full advantage and create some brilliant applications using this. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got a little pinky. I got a little... No, it's not my pinky. I got a little finger.